my name is Lauren. If you're new here, if not, hi, welcome back. Today's such an exciting video. It is such an exciting video. First of all, today was my white coat ceremony. Ooh, yes, I know. And I figured, why let this make it go to waste? So today we're gonna do a like mega unboxing. I have the iPad Air. I have the Apple Pencil. I have AirPods. And then I have like cases for everything and screen protectors and it's just like technology madness and this is all in preparation for starting medical school classes literally in like three days. I'm low-key terrified but I think I'm holding it together very very well and we're just gonna jump into it. We're not gonna waste any time. All my items got shipped to my parents house so this is like my first time really seeing them in person. They came today for the ceremony. Of course we're gonna start with the one and only, absolutely. God, what do I have to say about this? First of all, I did the, this pre-matriculation program and on like day three, everyone was on Apple just buying iPads. I had no plans to buy an iPad. And I was like, why is everyone getting an iPad? So then honestly, I panicked and I just bought one because everyone's like, you need them for med school. And I'm like, oh my God, okay. So we'll see. If you actually need them for med school, I'll let you know. I think you, I think it'll be helpful, but I'll let you know how necessary it is to have an iPad. It took me a really long time to pick the color and took me time to pick the memory too, but honestly, the color was what I was really struggling with. Some of the colors are great. I did get the iPad, let me see if you can see that. The iPad Air, and I chose the sky blue color. I'm kind of out of my comfort zone a little bit because my laptop is rose gold as you saw if you saw the Mac unboxing. But I went with the sky blue and I went with 256 gigabytes. I read that you only need, the only other option is like 60 or 66 or something. And I read that that is sufficient for medical school, but I figured, you know, this is gonna have to last me all four years. And my mom was like, you might as well just get the one with more storage just in case. And everyone else was getting more storage. So I was like, oh, okay. So I did get the 256 gigabyte iPad Air, fourth generation with Wi-Fi only. I did not get the cellular one. I just didn't think I needed it. It's always so satisfying to open any Apple products because of the way the box is like, I'm not gonna drop it. I promise, I actually put my knees up. I want you guys to see though. Okay, wait, I'm gonna put my knees up so it doesn't fall. Oh God, breaks her iPad on day one during the unboxing. But this part is like, it's always so satisfying. Yeah, please do not. Let's bring it back here. It takes forever, but. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay, it's fine, drama's over. Here she is. Also Apple, so I bought everything from Apple and they engraved like everything for free, which I thought was really nice, especially because I'm giving them all the money in my bank account. Wow, look at this. I have not seen this color in person yet, so let me not touch the screen. Wow, she's beautiful. The color is really nice. It's not in your face. I didn't want it in your face. Oh, I did not even mean to match my shirt to this. Wow, that's low key embarrassing, but also kind of cute. My nails match as well. Also didn't do that one on purpose. But then after I did it, I'm like, ooh, it'll match. So my engraving, let's see if you can read it. It says, future Dr. Lauren Smith, LKSOM class of 2025. So that's really, really cute. Wow, I really love this iPad. Oh, there she is. So this iPad also has a, like the on button at the top, it has the, fingerprint ID, the touch ID, which I think is so cool. Like who would have thought that they would do that? This is like my favorite screen to see, it's so exciting. Okay, so I'm gonna set this up a little bit. So now it's asking me to do my touch ID. This is so interesting. It's asking me to sign in with my Apple ID. So I decided not to transfer any of my apps over just because the only option was like to transfer from my Mac since I've never had an iPad before. 
I don't really know what would be transferring from my Mac. So I'm just gonna kind of like download all the apps myself. OneNote and everything, apps that I'm gonna need for school on here later. Now, I guess I will put the screen protector on and then I'll show you the case that I got and then move on to the next product. The screen protector that I chose was from Amazon and it's just called Jet Tech Tempered Glass Screen Protector. It says ultra clear, 9, 9H, hardness, tempered glass, scratch resistant, and highly responsive. And I was trying to decide between like a regular screen protector like this one or a paper-like screen protector um, because that's kind of like a big thing with iPads. But then I was watching this YouTube video of this horror story where someone got the paper like iPad screen protector and it basically like destroyed her Apple Pencil because it's all of the abrasion from the paper protector, it was like crazy because I never thought that that, I just wouldn't think of that happening. Yeah, very bad, very, very bad. If you're into the paper like protectors, I would just seriously do your research because you don't want to destroy your Apple Pencil. All right. Let's see how this goes. I just put a new screen protector on my phone and it's hard work. Like I just get really nervous that I'm gonna get air bubbles or like dust and then you're stuck with that for like months. Also, I will put timestamps in the description if you are only interested in one product. So of course, I'm doing the iPad first. Then I will do the pencil just to like stick with the iPad theme and then I will finish with the AirPods. So. If you're not interested in something, you can just skip around. All right, wow, there's a lot of kits in here. And this comes with two screen protectors, so I'm just gonna put this on off camera because nobody cares. And then I will be back for the case that I chose. Okay, we're back. Screen protector is on. iPad is doing well. I am gonna put the case on now. I decided to just get a white case just because I thought it looked very clean and I bought it from Amazon. I can put links of everything in the description. It like folds over and then it can do like the, you know, propping thing back here. And then I think, oh, I thought it was gonna be clear. I guess it's more so like frosted, which is fine. I'm really scared I'm gonna break this thing. <laughs> when I got my phone that I'm using to film, I dropped it within a week of having it before I had my case, but after I had my screen protector and it still cracked along the whole screen. So, yep, that's just my life. I dropped my phone like three times a day. Not a brag, <laughs> honestly like odd flags, but that's just my life. So I always like wanna have all my stuff protected. So it's cute. This is how I'm gonna be walking to class. You can see it kind of, it still shows the blue cause it's like clear, but it's just kind of frosted a little, but you can like still read the engraving and everything. And then there is this spot that's not covered. That's supposed to be for the pencil because the pencil like magnetically attaches to the iPad. And this is the iPad. So yeah, okay. So we're gonna move on to the next thing. Oh, let me just show you the charger really quickly. So this is like the butt, that's what I call it, of the charger. It is not a USB. I've never had a tablet before. I don't know if I said that. I used to have a Surface. It just like stopped working on me once I got my Mac. I don't know if it was like jealous of the Mac. Don't know what happened. But I've never had like an iPad. So this is what the port looks like on the little butt. And then let me just open it up so you can see everything. Oh, and then this is kind of like the same, the same little ends. And this is called a US, it's called a USB-C charge cable. This is everything. And we're just gonna see how the iPad goes. I'll give you an update as school starts, like I said. But so far I'm satisfied, I'm really happy. It's always exciting to get something new. So I am really excited about it, that I have something uh, new to start school. I'm gonna make uh, going to class and studying fun. And we're gonna move on to the next thing, which is the Apple Pencil. So with the iPad Air, 
It is compatible with the Apple Pencil second generation. This is what the packaging looks like. Very simple, very sleek. It's funny, when I was looking up videos about the iPad before I bought it, there were so many unboxings that were just like ASMR and there was no talking. <laughs> I was like, I did not know this was a thing that people were doing with their iPads. It was, it was really funny. Okay. Was designed by Apple in California. Don't want it to fall. <laughs> Literally was about to say, don't want it to fall. Don't want it to fall. I'll hold it in place, but there it is. The Apple Pencil. I guess it just has a little. I don't think people like covers for their pencil. That's kind of crazy, right? I don't think so. I did not get one if they exist. So this is the pencil. It's like, I would say it's kind of like the size of a like standard pencil. It is also engraved. It says Future L. Smith MD. Sorry, the sirens. This is what it's like living in the city. So I chose these engravings because if school was really kicking my butt or I was down, just like having a hard time, which from what they say, everyone will at some point in medical school, I wanted to just be able to look at like my tools that I use to learn and study and just kind of be like re-inspired and remember what the end goal is, which is to become Dr. Lauren Smith with an M dot D dot after my name. I'm just gonna try to just like see how this writes. Let's just see. Oh, I'm so dumb. I need to like link this, don't I? All right. Magnetically attached to iPad Pro to pair charge. That's crazy that it says Pro. To pair charge and store. So let's attach it. So this popped up. Welcome to Apple Pencil. Great. I want you guys to be able to see what I'm doing. Sorry, I don't have a desk. So <laughs> yeah, this is kind of, you know, but I want you guys to be able to see what I'm doing. Double tap on your Apple Pencil to switch between the tool you're using and the eraser. So the double tap is supposed to be down here. Wow, I did not know this was gonna be so involved. Very cool. All right, so that is the Apple Pencil. It charges by attaching onto here, so I'm just going to leave it attached. I know after time on my Surface, my Surface also had this, but it was on the top of the tablet. Um, like the pen would just start falling off when it was in my bag, like after a long time, like years. So some cases have like a little pocket for the pencil, but I decided to just leave it like this so it could actually charge um, and always be charged up. So yeah, there it is. And last, but not least, brrr, you just saw it, but whatever, my AirPods. So because I bought everything on Apple's website, they were having like a student discount deal. If you bought an iPad, they threw in AirPods for free. Now the AirPods that they included for free were the regular AirPods that were, I think, third generation? I think the Apple, I think the AirPods Pro were like fourth generation AirPods. I owned the AirPods first generation. So I think the ones they were giving for free were third generation, but you could upgrade for $90 to the Pro and that's what I did. because so I didn't want any old AirPods. The old AirPods that I had just kind of stopped working. So I haven't been using them, I've been using wires, but now I can finally have wireless headphones again. I'm really, really excited. I have pretty small ear holes, so I'm not really into the, headphones that kind of like go in your ear like this, but I tried Kirk's out because he has some and I was like, I can get used to this. So I decided to pick these out. They're white, there's no color options. Oh, and this is also engraved. Everything is engraved. The theme is personalized. 
This is really small. I don't know why I thought it would be bigger. Really small in a good way. So it's just engraved with my initials. You couldn't really do much. You could have like little emojis on here, but I just decided to be simple and have my initials. Hopefully no one steals it, but if they do, I can argue that those are definitely mine because my initials are on them. And let's open it up. So I have to pair them with my phone, which I can't do because I'm filming on my phone. But let me just try them out. So there's a little like charging cable in here. The charger is the same one as the iPhone, but then the part that plugs into the butt or like the little block is the USB-C. I think there's sizes for the ear pieces. So there's small and large. The ones that are already on here seem to be like a medium size. And then they also come with small and large. I'm probably gonna have to use the small because I have pretty small ear holes, but let's just try the medium one on. Just put it in. Yeah, I'll probably have to put the small in. Wow, you can definitely tell that it is noise canceling. If you don't know they are noise canceling, you can turn that on and off. Wow, yeah, you can definitely whoa, you can definitely tell. Like that it really is gonna block out outside sounds. That's pretty cool. The last thing that I'm gonna do is put a case on the iPod, I bought too many Apple products and I'm opening them all too close together. What are these? The i, the AirPods. <laughs> The last thing I'm gonna do is put a case on the AirPods. Again, like everything else, I bought the case on Amazon. I was trying to figure out if I wanted something simple because my last case was just like silicone and it was just like a light pink. I decided to go with a little flashy. You don't need a case for your AirPods, but I just prefer to have them in a case. Oh wow, this is cute. I've never had like a two piece case before for AirPods. So that's interesting. Oh, what's that? Oh, it sticks onto, oh God, okay. So I think, <laughs> this is kind of scary. I think once I put it on, it's gonna be pretty hard to take it off. There's not instructions on how to take it off. This might be a forever case, whatever. Here we go. It's a little crooked. Okay. Wow. This is the front. It's very snug. This is the case. It's really, really cute. How cute! How cute! I'm really satisfied with this. And it also came with a little strap. It feels like pretty hard, pretty secure. Of course, there is a spot for the charger. It came with this, I don't know what this is. Nice little key rings. I think the one is like a tool to get this off. I'm not gonna worry about that until the day I have to do it. So, that is everything. That's all my stuff. Um, I had a great time in this unboxing, got a lot of great things. And now I kind of just wait a few days for medical school to start. Um, my orientation was last week. I already said my micro ceremony was today. And the journey is really about to begin for me. If you're interested in seeing the cars here are really, really loud. If you're interested in seeing the medical school journey, then subscribe, stay tuned. You're gonna get a lot of videos, vlogs, everything of me on this crazy, crazy ride. And yeah, guys, that is that is it. I have shown you all of the stuff. I will put links for everything in the description. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. If you liked the video, like the video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.